Okay, let's start. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this afternoon, let us begin with a prayer. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. Let us pray the three o'clock prayer to the divine mercy. You died, Jesus, but the source of life flowed out for the souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fountain of life, immeasurable divine mercy, cover the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which flowed out from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen. Jesus, King of mercy, I trust in you. Prayer for the protection of hands in inclusion Philippines. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue and repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan and May he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands in inclusion Philippines to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations, any form, and from all the wrong things. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. St. Clair of Montefalco, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. St. Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. St. Augustine, pray for us and our family and friends. St. Michael the Archangel, St. Benedict, Pope St. Pius X, and Pope St. John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone. 
all organizations and all the people who formerly worked with the organization who made terrible mistakes and those the people who took part in a conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and Antony inclusion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The, the wounds inflicted upon him due to COVID-19. Jesus. This is the new case. Forget me, our life. Ang mga pananaw at opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to One Inclusion Live Weekend. Today is Saturday, October 23, 2021. I am Carlos Miguel Kanahashi and we're broadcasting simultaneously on Inclu Radio and on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. As we commence our show this afternoon, Let us have our daily verse for today from Acts chapter 4 verse 12. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must serve. We must be saved. We shall commence our presentation in just a moment and we will be back after these commercials. Now this.
accumulation. Welcome back to One Inclusion Live Weekend, and uh, well, um, well, actually we're back, and apologies for some technical difficulties because we had a short, uh, short, uh, a few second brownout here in our house, in our area. So anyway, let us now commence our presentation this afternoon. Okay, this afternoon, we will discuss to you about the Mascara Festival. So what is the Mascara Festival? This festival came from Bacolod City and it is held every October. Its first festival started in 1980. What is the origin of the word Mascara. The word mascara comes from the word mass, meaning many of or a multitude of people. Cara means face. That's why the word mascara means many faces. So, what is the essence of the event? The mascara festival has fittingly mirrored the resilient spirits of the Negrenescents or the Bacolenos and symbolize survival when the sugar industry, the city's lifeline, lamented down. How does the Mascara Festival start? In? At that time, Negros Island is the primary sugar bowl of the Philippines, and sugar is the main agricultural product 
and they are in a deep sinking crisis. The festival was first held on October 19, 1980, coinciding with the Charter Day celebration of Bacolod City, with the intent of uplifting the spirits of the people and bringing back the smiles to their faces through the many masks. What are the activities done in the Mascara Festival? A beauty pageant, carnivals, drum and bugle corps competitions, food festivals, sports events, musical concerts, agriculture trade fairs, garden show, and other special events organized Mascara Festival at Hawk Committee every year. Costumes. Costumes is also a huge factor where females are dressed in bra top sequence with glittery gems. Venus cuts and mini skirts complete with stockings and high heels, while males wear open polo shirts tied at seams and the classic pants. In the foods, some foods that sell in the street drink festival, most of the vendors sell bacolod chicken in a sal. For the souvenirs, during the festival, they also sell souvenirs that the tourists can bought them, and also pasalubongs as well. For the performance, male and female dominates the dance floor. The number of male dancers is equal to the number of female dancers. They are choreographed separately by two different choreographers. In the livelihood, more than the reasons to celebrate life, it is also the time to boost the economy because locally produced vegetables, fruits, and handicaps or souvenirs are on sale. The Bacolod Plaza, which is Laxon Street, is always the, the main venue because this area is packed with visitors from all over the country, especially in Metro Manila, and the Changge is seen in all corners. And butter corn. Butter corn. Thank you. And that's why the venue of the Mascara Festival is always in the city, which is in Lacson Street in Bacolod. Why? Because, ladies and gentlemen, it is full of visitors from over the country, especially from abroad. And also, some souvenir shops are seen in all corners in the area. For the rationale of the event, the fact that this was invented tradition is rooted in the culture and economic base of Negrinescence makes it more appealing to the people. The way Mascara Festival is presented to the public has no hypocrisy in the sense that the message is clear in order to maintain the good spirit of the people amidst all disasters and hardships. People put up these ironic smiles even just for a week or a couple of days to celebrate life's blessings. The bounty of the economy, the culture and tradition that made up the totality of not just the Negrinescence, but in particular the Pacolenos. To summarize our topic, the Mascara Festival is a week-long festival held each year in Bacolod City in Negros Occidental. The festival features a street dance competition where people from all walks of life troop to the streets to see colorfully masked dancers gyrating to the rhythm of Latin musical beats in the display of mastery, gaiety, coordination, and stamina. The word mascara means many faces. That's because, ladies and gentlemen, Bacolod City is known as the City of Smiles. The origin of the word mask means many. Cara is the Spanish words of face. So, the celebration of the Mascara Festival is done in Bacolod. To lift the spirits of the locals and to bring back the smiles on their faces, the Mascara Festival was created. The smiling masks were a declaration of uh, 
of the smiling faces of the mass. And also to show that the city, Bacolod, is known as the city of smiles, ladies and gentlemen. And that's the end of our topic this afternoon. I'll be right back. We'll go commercial muna tayo. Hello? Hello? Wait lang. All right. Welcome back to One Inclusion Live Weekend. So ladies and gentlemen, here are some of our announcements. First of all, we have some products for sale at the Hansen Inclusion Philippines online shop. So the products are our One Inclusion Nation t-shirts available in red, black, blue, white, and yellow. All sizes were 275 pesos. For our One Inclusion Nation tote bags, or our tote bags is available in white and black, and sizes range from medium to large, and prices range from 150 to 200 pesos. So how can we pay, ladies and gentlemen? Well, first of all, we will be very strict on payments. Payment first before purchase. We're accepting payments from... Gcash on this QR code that I will flash in just a moment. And also, we will deliver your ordered products via GoGo Express in Metro Manila and its surrounding areas and LBC nationwide. Just a reminder, the Hansen Inclusion Philippines online store is temporarily closed for areas under the Enhanced Community Quarantine and Modified Enhanced Community Quarantine areas. But it will... Continue to serve in areas under general community quarantine and modified general community quarantine areas. Its operating hours are from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. For a full list of orders, please visit the Hansen Inclusion Philippines Facebook page or email us at hansen.inclusion at gmail.com. Hansen Inclusion Philippines needs your help, ladies and gentlemen. We already been struggling with our problems, particularly our financial and economic problems in our organization, including us. Regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. Please help us. How? By scanning and donating Hansen Inclusion on GCash on this QR code that is flashed on your screen. And you will see this on one of our posts on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines social media pages as, as well. So guys, what are you waiting for? Please, please, and please, please purchase our products from the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online store and also to donate to Hands in Inclusion Philippines as well. Please help Hands in Inclusion Philippines for its fundraising project. We're aiming to raise funds in our organization and let us have the time to rebuild in order for us to have a bigger, a better, and a bolder Hansen Inclusion Philippines. And also, 
the proceeds from our purchases from the online shop and also for the donations will go to the following the formality of Hanson Inclusion Philippines and also for its expenses as well. So guys, for those who did this, you'll be glad you did. And for those who did this, thank you for your continuous generosity and for your support to the organization. Here are some of the events coming up for the month of October in Best Buddies Philippines. Later today at 4 p.m., right after this program, we'll be celebrating Diwali with Ravi Sujanani on our Best Buddies Philippines Saturday series of learning. And also, we'll be celebrating Ravi's 38th birthday as well. And also, at 4 p.m., a fairy tale Halloween. So if you want to register for October 30 on our Best Buddies Philippines Saturday series of learning, Follow Best Buddies Philippines on Facebook and Instagram. Send them a message and they will send you the registration form and link as well. Here in Best Buddies Philippines, make a friend and be a friend. Friends look out for each other and friends become part of the family as well. Here are some of our events for November 6, 13, and 20 in Special Olympics Philippines. They will be having a leadership training called Lead to Include 2021. So the event will be done from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. So if, uh, if, 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 the re if some of the participants are registered for this event, they will send you the kit as well, it, it, which is delivered to you in an ongoing, which is ongoing pa, ladies and gentlemen, yung delivery ng kits for the participants. Project Sold Out is in collaboration with Hiraya Gallery and Special Achievers. So if you want to see this, please check the Special Achievers Facebook page as well. This is in partnership with Ateneo Special Education Society, Autism Strong Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, College of Rehabilitation Sciences Student Council, Hanson Inclusion Philippines, Little Hands ISCO with UNICEF, Philippine Academy of Occupational Therapists Incorporated, Society of of Occupational Therapy Majors, the ABLE Center, Tugon Ateneo, UP Collegian Association of Speech Pathologists, and You Belong PH. If you're feeling hungry, you order some of the foods in Sobra Comfort Food Restaurant. The products are US Beef Rib Cap Tapa, Shawarma Beef Brisket, Beef Udon, and Beef Bulgogi over Kimchi Rice. Sizes range from medium to large and prices range from 550 pesos to 1,190 pesos. For our sandwiches, the Ono Fried Chicken Sandwich, sizes range from Deluxe Grande and a box of four. The Mmm Fried Chicken Sandwich and Uncle Bert's Fried Chicken Sandwich range from 320 pesos to 1,500 pesos. You may order some of the foods via Sobra Comfort Food website. Select the dishes you want to order Choose between our pickup and delivery options. Pay conveniently to any of the safe integrated payment methods and your order is confirmed. And expect updates via text and email. Also today to our Benilgens who are graduated today, congratulations to all the graduates. Sa mga kapwa kong na nakagraduate today, Congratulations po sa inyong pagtatapos. And as we mark this occasion, I would like to play the, the two hymns. Hymn to St. Benilde and the De La Salle Alma Mater Hymn. Thank you. 
On behalf of Hansen Inclusion Philippines, uh, congratulations to our Benilgens who are graduating today and also for doing ordinarily things extraordinarily well. Sa ngalan po ng Hansen Inclusion, uh, congratulations po sa mga kapwa kong Benilgiano na naka, nakatapos today. And also, may I wish the graduates the best of luck on their future endeavors. Follow Health and Inclusion Philippines on our social media pages and its digital platforms as well. It will be appreciated for you guys to do this as early as now. Follow us on Facebook, Health and Inclusion Philippines, Inclusion in Sports Inclusion, and the online shop, Instagram, Health and Inclusion PH. Kumu HNI Philippines and subscribe to the Hansen Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. So guys, for those who did this, thank you very much. Coming up later on Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion, we will discuss to you about what makes us human in terms of how we live and, and also who we are. Find out on this topic later. On Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion later tonight at 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Inclu Radio and also to be viewed on the next day on the Hands and Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel with me, yours truly, Carlos Kanashi, Christian Chan, and Asher Santos. For our shout outs and greetings, uh, For our birthday celebrant, I would like to read happy birthday to Ravi Sujanani. Happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. Also, I would like to say good afternoon and thank you to the following. To my family, good afternoon. Hi! To Hands in Inclusion, Best Buddies Philippines, Best Buddies Benil, and other PWD organizations. Thank you very much as well. To my high school and college friends, good afternoon as well. And also to those who are celebrating their anniversaries, happy anniversary as well. And also to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world. I hope you guys are in a good mood. But if not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well. Sana nasa mabuting kalagay ninyo kung hindi. Meron kayong sapat na panahon para magsiayos ang inyong kalagayan at kagalingan ninyo. To those who are watching us on Inco Radio, thank you very much as well. And if you missed this episode, it will be premiered on the next day on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel for your viewing pleasure. Okay, as I wrap up our show this afternoon, here, we have learned this afternoon that the celebration of the Mascara Festival is, is known as many faces. Why? Because Bacolod City in Negros Occidental is also known as the City of Smiles. And let us be proud and be happy of wherever we are. 
and who we are and also for us to progress and to develop as well. And also to show the boundiness of our of all of us and also to show the good spirit through the bayanihan spirit as well because ladies and gentlemen the bayanihan spirit is part of our country's culture and also to show us that we love our country as well then forget that tomorrow is sunday as hands in English and Philippines continue to put God first, regardless of our faith, we observe that Sunday is a day of rest and faith. So that is why it will be appreciated for your full cooperation and your attention, and also your silence is highly appreciated, so that they can attend the religious services peacefully and quiet, peace and quiet as well. Okay, and um, all right, that's a wrap for our episode for One in Christian Life Weekend. Apologies for the uh, technical difficulties earlier because it was a short, uh, a short, uh, a few second brownout. And uh, I'll be back again later at 8 p.m. tonight for our Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion show. On behalf of Inclurajo and Hands in Inclusion Philippines. This is your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. Saying, may the mighty God bless us all. Pagpalain po tayo ng poong may kapal. May bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation, HNI, God first. Thank you very much for watching and have a blessed afternoon to all. And bye for now. Bye-bye.